am back. Stealth back. And this is Hero's Workshop, coming to you via satellite from my mom's basement. I will keep it down, mom, while I entertain the viewers. Today's project, it will be a Halo 3 ODST cosplay helmet. That's right. ODST, baby. One of the coolest helmets, in my opinion, ever made. So with this build, we're going to go first feet into hell. Wait. Feet first. <laughs> Feet first into hell. That's right, this intro is going great. It's going right down the toilet. If you want to build your own Halo 3 ODST helmet, the Foam Peppercore file template is free and it's linked down below. Get the file and build along with me. You can have one of your own. And as always, if you're new to Peppercore foam building and cosplay in general and you want to get started, this is a great way to get into the hobby. I have an in-depth video on my channel and learn all the techniques. You can build a sample project and then you can apply all those techniques you learned on a sample project on any foam peppercore file you come across and it should be no problem. Okay, so I actually made this costume in 2019. I made like a desert ODST scheme. Uh, it turned out really nice. I love the colors that I used and the, and the contrast with the red and the tan. If you guys wanna check out this cosplay, uh, this video is just like a build vlog and you can get a lot of tips from it and some techniques. So if you're looking to build one, uh, check out the video and also when you're done check out the suit up video It's just me putting on all the parts and you know posing in it and stuff and doing a little dance Who 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 stop don't encourage me when you're building this helmet It shouldn't be too bad to assemble the foam pieces and get the helmet base done The one thing you might have problems with is the visor. That's why you don't see too many ODST helmet tutorials I can see why like you'd have to make the buck you have to make it yourself and then you'd have to vac form it And not everyone has a vac form like, especially if you're working like in a small space, like the way I build, I try to do like baseline, like so cheap materials so that way anyone can make it. So it's like, I have to assume like nobody has a vac form machine. Like I have a vac form machine, I could do it. You're going to see me make like a vac form visor and then tint it and everything. And then you're going to be like, well, I can't do that in my home. Like I can't afford to get... And that's how I think about you guys when I make these things, you know, like I think about like the person that can't do that. It's my job to make an ODST visor in a way that everyone could do it. If you can make an ODST visor with vac forming and all that, go for it. You'll get like super awesome results. But it's like I said, it's my job to make sure someone who probably can't, you know, have a vac form or, you know, have the space for it. They can still make a visor. They can still make the helmet, enjoy the hobby, have fun and then they can make the whole armor. I don't want people like making the helmet and they're like, oh, I can't make the visor and then they don't even make the armor. It's like, I don't want to kill your dream if that was your dream to make an ODST costume. So it's really important and that's how I do things around here. That being said, I did find an easy way. All you need is a safety visor and window tint. That's all. So you're going to see later in the video, I'll show you how to make the visor. So enjoy the video, pay close attention to all the tips and techniques, and I'll see you guys later.
How's my building? Dial one eight eight three five build. Is that, is that the right amount? B U I L D. Yeah, sure, whatever. So I just want to interrupt, so you can see my face. Probably haven't seen it. Probably looking at a table over my shoulder. Anyways, have you liked the video? If not, please like the video. It helps the channel a lot. You guys know that. That's the currency around here. It's the stealth books. It helps the videos reach. So the more you guys like and comment, interact, you know, it sends the video to other people. Anyway, also, I got t-shirts. If you want a t-shirt, this is the official Heroes Workshop crew shirt. So if you ever work with me in the shop, you probably would have got one of these or something similar. Small logo on the front, big logo on the back. Yeah, if you want to get some Heroes Workshop merchandise, shirts, sweaters, anything cool, support the channel. Support me, Stealth, your buddy, your pal. All links are below. Another thing, the Heroes Workshop Cosplay Builders Group. I have a, a group you can join, talk with other builders, get advice, and share your progress of your past and current builds. Basically, just come there whenever you want to share your work and support other builders. Link is below as well. Also, if you were in the old group, this is now a public group, so I had to make a new group. So that's why I'm announcing that the group was remade into the same name, but it's just public now. So that way your projects and posts have more reach to uh, outside people. I don't want to waste your time. Get back to the video. Sorry, guys. Now that the helmet's been assembled, time to uh, round off some of the edges and soften them a bit. So I used a rotary tool with a sanding bit. And then once that was done, I went over with a heat gun to reduce the roughness from that sanding. Then I went over some of the seams with some quick seal. I used a spreader to apply it. And I also used some water with my finger kind of smooth it out and feather it into the rest of the foam. Then I did some detail lines. So I got some reference of the ODST helmet and I just try to match up what the helmet looks like. And then I used a knife to kind of score the line and then a heat gun to heat up the lines. Once you apply heat to the score detail lines, that's what makes them pop. Then I added some physical battle damage. I added scars, scrapes, and burns. I pretty much matched the look of the ODST helmet because I like that a lot and I didn't want this helmet to miss out on that. Then it was time to seal the helmet. I used tacky glue. I put one coat. I didn't dilute it. I put it on straight as is and it worked out great. I used a foam brush to reduce uh, brush strokes. To prime it, I used gesso, watered down a little bit to dilute it, sprayed it through the spray gun. I just put one coat. And then to paint it, I did a base coat of a darkened liquid metal from Sergeant Arts and it turned it into a gunmetal color. Once the gunmetal base color was done, I masked off certain areas, that way they could be flat black. While I had a bit of flat black left, I airbrushed it into all the battle damage areas because you want a black base, that way you can do silver over that. And it just looks like layers of battle damage to get through to the actual bare metal. Then it was time to do the stripe. So I masked off an area at the top of the helmet. I added some masking fluid because I want the line to be broken up. So once I paint it white, remove the masking tape, I rub off the masking solution. The white line will look also weathered and broken up a bit. Then I added some silver metallic to all the battle damage. I just used a Sharpie. You can also use metallic paint and just brush it in or a paint pen. And just to add a little bit more weathering, I just did some dry brushing on the edges, just very lightly. I didn't go overboard and just kind of like tap lightly on the edge with, with a really stiff brush just to give it more of a realistic effect. Okay, so it's time to do the ODST visor. You're gonna need to take the template piece from the Peppercore file, and then I just traced it again on cardstock so I have both sides. So I don't have to fuss with flipping it, and also this piece here. Okay, so you're gonna trace the visor, and then cut it out. So the thing you need to remember is, add, like trace it, and then also add a, a gluing tab for later, so you have enough uh, material to actually glue on the inside of the helmet. Now there's still a protective uh, layer on here so keep that keep that on there as long as you can. So I'm just gonna draw a gluing tab, lip, whatever you want to call it. Okay and you're also gonna do the same thing with this bottom piece. Well another tip is so let's say okay so I made my helmet at nine inches wide. I scaled up the file to 9.4 that way the template is bigger and then print out just this page with the visor pieces on it. That way you don't have to print everything. Yeah, so the bigger the better. Not too big, but bigger so you have enough, uh, you know, excess so you know it's going to fit in there for sure. 
because you don't want an exact fit because then there'd be nothing to glue against inside the helmet. So both pieces are cut out. Next, I'm just going to remove the protective film on one side. First, you wanna, you're going to want to heat shape the visor a little bit. You don't want it always fighting back to go to the original shape because then this will pull off as well. So you're going to have to heat shape this too. So just use a heat gun. Just be careful you don't make like divots and stuff because it gets really soft. So just use the styrofoam ball if you have it or something round. Okay, where you want the curves is on these edges here. So you don't want it to curve in the middle. You want it to curve on these two points. So heat up those areas there and a little bit of a curve in the middle. And just hold it till it cools down. I recommend putting a foil on your styrofoam ball if you're gonna heat shape on top of it. And then I'm gonna use some contact cement on the lip here. I'm gonna put some on the inside. It's time to connect the two pieces together. But I want to just uh, do something more so that we don't see this, all this work here. Kind of just cover it up. So I'm just going to take off this. So what you want to use, you want to use some uh, one-way mirror tint. So all you need to do is really, is just cut a couple pieces to size using the template and just glue the tint right over where you did the seam. So you can cover all that up. Then you just place this one on top after. And then this would be your gluing lip, your gluing tab, once you were done. The bottom part is glued on. I didn't uh, remove the backing off of this. Like it's really secure, the backing. Like it's not gonna peel off. Okay, so now you're gonna wanna glue this one down the same way. And then you just cover that and it makes it like nice and neat. You see that? You can glue down the sides and then maybe a couple little spots here and there. Now I will apply the top part of the visor. I like how I'm announcing everything. Now I will go to the bathroom and do number one. That is uh, somewhat okay. This is actually all right. Leave me and my visor alone. Okay, so now all you do is glue the inside with contact cement and then put the contact cement on the lip here, which I already did, and then install it. Okay, so the ODST helmet is complete. Uh, like I said, the visor was probably the trickiest part, but hey, I pulled it off. Doesn't look too bad. I love the reflective mirror finish of the tint. You can't even see anyone's eyes through it. I'm, I can't even see my hand, even in direct light. So, hey, it might not be 100% flawless, but damn, did it ever get that real mirror reflective look. That is crazy. And also, for the helmet being foam, this looks really nice, like, wow. I can't believe this is a foam helmet, guys. The more you build, the better you get at it. So keep building, just keep building things. You're gonna get better and better at it. I remember I never used to build foam helmets. I hated building foam helmets. I would build like paper peppercora and fiberglass resin bondo because I could never build foam helmets. And I just kept working at it. And then now it's like my favorite thing to make. And it's like, I make foam helmets better than armor parts sometimes. So this is my strong point now. So, so just keep at it and things will click and you will get there. Got another project in the books. The Halo 3 ODST Foam Cosplay Helmet. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, I like it a lot. All right, this is Stealth from Heroes Workshop, and I will see you guys next week with another cosplay tutorial, I think. Yeah, I'm not building an army yet. I don't know what I want to make. I still don't know, guys. And when I do, it's going to be epic because I've waited this long. Because I'll be 100% sure this thing's going to be crazy. Trust me. And we're out.